purposes. One, to keep the smuts out of the paying customer's eyes. And the second, it improved the draft. In 1934, they see they didn't really have a long life. And now, around the country, maybe six or seven trailers, including the living accommodation. Then they'd get to the uh, showfield, hook up and survive New York. That was it. 1869. Denby Steam Cartage Company. Very rare machine. Not a lot of cover for the driver. But they were tough in those days. Lots a bit of rain. The Fowler heavy load low crew. You can see on the side there that crest. Some of us said in a fit of generosity, you can put our crest on the side of every one of your engines. Where there's room to do so. Big showman said, yeah, this is dreadnought. Next coming through is a 1927 Fowler. This is Murphy. And that's based on the White Horse, which you find on the coat of arms of Kent and their flag as well. And the White Horse depicts Invicta. The stallion which be, belonged to a quite fierce Saxon war, which is why on every Avery and Porter engine you see the room to do so. You'll find that brass horse in Victor. Bit heavy, root blue for now. Thank you. 